Hey guys, it's Owen from Wrestling Inc. back with another wrestling news roundup. But without any further ado, let's get into today's biggest stories in the world of professional wrestling. WWE board reportedly investigating settlement tied to Vince McMahon. Huge news coming out of WWE's corporate end as the Wall Street Journal is reporting that the board of World Wrestling Entertainment Inc. is investigating a $3 million settlement paid to a former employee by WWE Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon with whom he allegedly had an affair. According to the journal's sources, the separation agreement is from January of 2022 and bars the former paralegal from discussing her relationship with McMahon or disparaging him in any way. The WWE board has said the relationship between McMahon and the employee hired in 2019 was consensual. The WWE board began investigating McMahon in April and has since uncovered more settlements. The investigation has reportedly uncovered previous non-disclosure agreements by WWE employees of the past, which not only claim misconduct by McMahon, but also head of talent relations John Laurinaitis. There is no word on how many agreements were unearthed by the investigation. The total amount paid in non-disclosure agreements has yet to be determined by the board, but a source noted that it was in the millions. The investigation also discovered that McMahon used personal funds to pay the former female employees. The personal funds were not only used for complaints against McMahon, as McMahon reportedly used personal funds to pay for the settlement involving Laurinaitis. According to McMahon's attorney, Jerry McDivitt, quote, WWE did not pay any monies to the former employee, which lines up with the investigation's report that McMahon used personal funds. While the investigation is mainly focused on the settlements to the former employees, but would also broadly investigate WWE's human resources programs as well as the company culture as a whole. The Wall Street Journal notes that the 12-person board of directors still includes McMahon's daughter Stephanie, who recently stepped away from her duties as chief brand officer to take time with her family. The investigation is being led by board member Manjit Singh, a former Sony Home Entertainment executive. Fightful Select has backstage news about the ongoing allegations against both McMahon and Laurinaitis. According to the report, sources that Fightful spoke to have indicated that the relationship between McMahon and the paralegal was suspected by many in the company and it was hinted that she was even given a substantial promotion around the time of April 2021's WWE cuts. She was promoted from John Laurinaitis' assistant to a director role that spring. Stephanie McMahon is on the company board and would have been aware of the investigation as would Nick Khan and Triple H. Fightful also asked about Nia Jax's tweet from April 30, quote, it's a shame some people deserve to get the opportunity to shine like the star they really are, but unfortunately certain higher ups can never see past their own perverted ways too bad. There aren't the lucky ones who can use blackmail to keep their jobs." End quote. There was no mention of it from any higher ups and the tweet was just dismissed as quote bitter. The tweet would have been after the investigation was underway too. When John Laurinaitis was given back the spot of head of talent relations in 2021, female talent were frustrated with the move. One source revealed today, according to the report, that she would rather get all of her stuff sent to her in a trash bag when she gets fired than have to deal with Laurinaitis. One former office employee also said that they believe this will be a quote domino effect end quote and Vince McMahon will fight hard to stay but doesn't see a situation in which Laurinaitis doesn't resign. There are also assumptions that these allegations are the biggest threat to McMahon's power in WWE since the steroid trial nearly three decades ago. It was also noted in the report that some sources that Fightful spoke with expected John Laurinaitis to be replaced before all is said and done and one speculated that he's being set up as quote the latest fall guy for Vince his turn in the line was coming end quote one male wrestler who was active from the 2000s and 2010s told Fightful that there are long been rumors of John Laurinaitis's misconduct while a former writer said it was an open suspicion in the mid 2000s According to WrestleNomics' Brandon Thurston, WWE has sent an internal memo to staff addressing the situation. Quote, the Wall Street Journal has published a report about WWE with allegations that we and our board of directors take seriously, the memo reportedly said. We are cooperating fully with the independent investigation initiated by our board of directors. 
However, the company is still going ahead with a quote, business as usual mentality, according to Dave Meltzer on the latest edition of Wrestling Observer Radio. Both McMahon and John Laurinaitis are expected to be backstage at WWE SmackDown this week as normal, despite the recent serious allegations that were made against them in the build towards WWE Money in the Bank continues. Sasha Banks has reportedly been released by WWE. Sasha Banks has been released by WWE, according to Wrestling Inc.'s own Raj Giri. According to Raj, it's unknown at this point if Banks requested the release or if the decision came from WWE. As noted previously, Banks underwent PRKI surgery earlier this week, and several images and videos from her surgery surfaced on social media. It was one of her rare public appearances since her WWE suspension. Banks and Naomi staged a walkout from WWE during the May 16 Raw and were subsequently handed out indefinite suspensions without pay. According to a former WWE writer, Banks' contract is due to be up within two months, though that was never confirmed by any news outlets. To date, neither Banks nor Naomi have commented on their standoff with WWE, although Naomi has removed all references from WWE from her Twitter bio. WWE has repeatedly mentioned Banks and Naomi, quote, disappointed the WWE universe, end quote, by staging a walkout. WWE has also removed all references to the two wrestlers from their TV graphics info, deleted their Facebook pages, and pulled all their merchandise from WWE shop. Fightful Select previously reported that, quote, there is no end on the horizon for this situation, end quote, and WWE didn't have any or no plans to release Banks or Naomi from their contracts or even to freeze their soon to expire deals. Sean Rossap of Fightful Select reports that he spoke with Geary earlier on in the afternoon before the report was made and reached out to WWE. The representative he spoke to heard nothing about Banks' release either way, but did note that he saw Geary's tweet. Regarding Banks' status, nothing has been confirmed, but nothing has been refuted either. Contacts close to the public relations team in WWE had heard nothing of Banks' reported departure as of 8pm Eastern Time last night. As of this recording, no memos or emails have apparently been sent out by the company internally regarding anything related to the reported release of Banks. There was reportedly an email sent urgently requesting her removal from an advertised live event, but nothing surrounding the current situation. Backstage news on AEW roster's concern for Jeff Hardy. As Vince McMahon now becomes the talk of the wrestling world for his use of a $3 million settlement, more information on Jeff Hardy continues to emerge following his DUI arrest, and it paints a troubling picture that things haven't been rosy for the suspended AEW star for a while. Fightful Select reported Wednesday afternoon that they had spoken to several AEW talents who revealed that Jeff and his brother Matt Hardy were strongly being considered for an AEW World Tag Team Championship run before AEW Double or Nothing. There was a cause for concern though for some talents who told Fightful that they had heard rumours of Hardy being intoxicated on two previous occasions. One of these instances was said to have occurred during WrestleMania weekend while the other took place in a hotel lobby after a prior event. Talent also noted to Fightful that there was concern over Hardy's performance at AEW Double or Nothing where he was noticeably off during the Hardy's victory over the Young Bucks in the second match on the card. Matt Hardy later claimed that Jeff had suffered a head injury earlier on in the match. Fightful then reported that because of the Double or Nothing match and concerns coming out of it, talks of the Hardys getting a tag title run came to an end because of that match, with the Young Bucks slated to win the titles off Jurassic Express instead, though Fightful couldn't confirm if those were the current plans. They also noted the segment that aired on Dynamite last week featuring the Hardys, Bucks and Jurassic Express, which set up a three-way ladder match for the AEW World Tag Team titles was taped a week prior. As revealed yesterday in a statement from AEW owner and CEO Tony Khan, Jeff Hardy has been suspended without pay following his DUI arrest and will be unable to return to AEW until he completes treatment for his addictions and maintains sobriety for an unknown amount of time. AEW subsequently removed the Hardys from the three-way ladder match on Dynamite Road Rager, leaving it as a two-on-two match between the Young Bucks and Jurassic Express, which saw the Young Bucks win the AEW World Tag Team Championships for the second time. 
So what are your thoughts on today's wrestling news roundup? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wrestling Inc. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon.